Jerry, you want me to wear three inch heels? Stilettos? Not three. This is not. You're, you're giving uh, the Hillary Clinton one on ones. That's not at all what I was asking you to get. <laughs> there is, please. Not some for three inches. What is that? No, ma'am. Damn, that three inches. Th no, ma'am. Six inches? Yes. They're not six inches, are they? Who's that? Who's that? Who's this actually? I thought it was a three inch stilettos. That's three inches. Who? It's what are you talking inches. about? What stilettos are you talking about? The, the high heel. Who's high heels? Beyonce they don't wear three inches. Oh, the man! <laughs> What's up, my Vila? I got the sounds. Smagalicious. Mm. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, Upside, for sponsoring this video. Upside was created to level the playing field. Upside's product enables people to get more value from their purchases and measurably improves the profitability of businesses so communities grow stronger. Every transaction through Upside benefits the world at large, offsetting carbon and food waste so that our communities thrive for years to come. Download the free Upside and use promo code BLOVESLIFE to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more at upside.app.link slash BLOVESLIFE. Inflation is hitting us all where it hurts, and it really hurts. Gas is at its all-time high. Everything you buy is expensive. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or or dines out. In comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. You can claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card and get paid. You can cash out anytime to your bank account, PayPal, or an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. That's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. I went to the gas station and I used Upside, y'all, and it was super easy to use. And when I get my cash back, I'm going to use it on a food card. Y'all know I love to eat. Download the free Upside and use promo code BLOVESLIFE to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more at upside.app.link slash BLOVESLIFE. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. It's evening for us. But it's evening somewhere out there too because you may be watching me in the evening. Maybe you're watching me at night. I don't know. It could be but anytime. anytime. But we're eating out back. I have asparagus, broccoli, two lobster tails, and a salmon, and some salad over here. There is half. I have a filet mignon. Okay. Um, that's how you're supposed to say it. Okay, filet mignon. Yes. Um, and some a premium. What is it? I said premium. a loaded mashed it's, potato. It's a loaded mashed potato, but it's just not the normal one. I just <laughs> what? what? I just want everyone to know that like if you go to Olive Garden, if you go to Outback, like this is just not like the normal mashed potatoes that you get. This year I feel like I asked for the ones that are. Oh, okay. Anyway, so anyway, so I got some mashed potatoes and then the um, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Okay, yeah. so we're going to say grace and we're going to get it in. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And say amen again to you guys, okay? Anyways, we know that Darius don't say his prayers, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Um. Not in your in your videos. I don't. He just gets a chomp. Hey, chomp it on down. You say it inside though. Mhm. Mm okay. That's cool. Anyways, let's eat some. We're gonna eat a bit. We're gonna talk a bit. We're gonna eat a bit. We're gonna eat a bit. We're gonna talk a bit. Anyways, I have y'all. Yes, I'm gonna be having these lobster tails. Y'all see this? Ooh, we. These jokes are four ounces. Why is it on Darius' face? Now it's on my face. We gotta do that. Whatever. Did you Jack that one up. Yeah. 
Oh. Jack okay. that up. Anyway, so got the eating it with no sauce. They only like four ounces. So let me make sure my steak is it's probably not the right green. It better be. Y'all know he picky. I told that lady, okay, please. Don't use an A1 steak. So, because that boy. Wow, perfect. Okay. Mmm. I mean, you don't eat it. Okay. Let me put the A1. This is kind of difficult. To, I haven't actually done this in a long time. This is foreign to me. In this room, you I, have a, you have a a I feel like we do it in the car. I've been doing it in the car frequently. What? Mm -hmm. things. Oh, yeah. Doing it on a studio is kind of new to me. Right, because we be in the car. We be on the go. And speaking of on the go, we got a lot of places you be going to, right? Yes. He um, be traveling. Because, you know, we were saying I'm going to say. You're booked and busy. Thank you. <laughs> uh, very much so. Booked and busy. And, you know, just places to be, people to see, you know, names to take. So you take names too. Mm -hmm. Okay. He take names, y'all. Mm. We gonna get in some into some deep, deep questions with Darius because I want to know, and I know y'all want to know too. The real tea, okay? I'm trying to get him to eat first. No. Hmm. Actually, I don't know how much we know. A lot. You like the food? I'm really just not much of a meat eater, eater now, but it's still biggie, but. Is it good? Yes. Do you taste it with some top back or something? Oh, I forgot you brought, brought that in here. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right. Dang. Mm-hmm. I feel like we in prison. Can you worry about your food? Look at that mine. Dang. They, they don't do that in prison. It's How do you thing? know? Mom, that's a thing. First of all, just because I know things doesn't mean that I've experienced them. But how you know? Uh, what you been watching? This that this that thing. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm gonna need some. Um, I'm need some hot sauce for that. Um, that fish. Is the mountain here good? Mmm. They did the best they could. They did do the best they could. They did. It's not better than yours? Well, mine is not mine. Well, it's yours no. the way you cook it. Now. You saw. I think everybody else did too that. Hmm? This is a really big portion. There's a lot of mac and cheese there. You know, there's a lot of big potato there. Huge portion. Also, you know, I still get comments. That's the most I've ever seen Darius E. Mm hmm. It's it's tired. Tired. I think it's tired at this point. The trope is tired. It the, is. The hooch is tired. The trope. What's a trope? The trope is like a. Like a stereotype, I guess. Not a stereotype, but like a, I don't know. I guess that's kind of a good way to explain it. Okay. Like a something you expect to happen, or mm -hmm. you know, so, like you fit no category or whatever. And I guess I'm categorized as a non-eater, which like sounds crazy to me. But when I do eat, everyone's always saying, "That's the first time I'm seeing," and I eat literally. Actually, it's every video. <laughs> It could be a new uh, Most videos I am eating. I think at this point now it's just some videos I'm not. Yeah, it could be somebody new and, though. Uh huh? It could be somebody new that says that. Okay, but they've seen me in other videos eating. Sorry. Very little. Like if you don't know how to eat that, they're gonna classify that as not eating. Well, I'm trying my hardest, so. You try your hardest? Mm-hmm. Why was Barry to get cold so quick? <clears throat> Mm. I have a problem with that. And his time is over well done. Over well done? Yes, over well done. 
Okay. I don't know how salmon's supposed to taste. I look. No. Do you particularly like Outback? Sorry. For what I wanted for. Right, you too. It's alright. You know, do you particularly like your meal? Mm -hmm. alright. What is it giving you? As like a number, a score, or what do you mean? It's giving me dry, it's mm. giving me creamy, mm. it's giving me, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hotness, mm. warm. Yeah. None of the above. <laughs> um, she's giving, I'll do the best I can. What? No, okay, I'm going to eat it. But I can't, I can't finish this whole plate. This I, is a lot of stuff. know that. You don't finish most of it. Most is like a really big word. It is. Majority of it. Mm, majority is kind of a bigger word than that, actually. Whatever. Oh, my phone is trying to fall out of my pocket. I got it. Thank you. Anyway, so. So. I've been doing a lot of stuff, y'all. Been busy with a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff is coming up. And y'all, busy, 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 busy B. Those you call me, busy, busy B. Good stuff though. There's a lot of stuff, y'all. We trying to make it happen. We trying to make it happen, Captain. Hmm. So I'm not going to Nashville. I'm going to Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas? We you find out? The 23rd. Oh, no. Mom, don't be sad. I don't even know my date. I thought it was, I thought it was Nashville. It's not Nashville. Mm. I know. Po you. I'm going to be in the big M. So you going to where? Is that what it made? The Wizard of Oz? Kansas City is not. Oh, well. Kansas City is in Missouri. Kansas is a state. Mm hmm. So, no. I've never been in Kansas City. Me yeah. either. This will be my first time. Well, you're about to. Where is Missouri? What's in, what's in Kansas? In the state of Kansas? Mm hmm. What's to do there? Is it big? Oh, I don't know. Listen, Mom, you always want to have these discussions on the video. We don't know geography, math, science, or arithmetic. <laughs> so, we actually need to tread lightly. And I know arithmetic is the same as math. Everybody calm down. Uh, yeah, arithmetic is the same as math. Now, are my nails virtually gone? Yes or no? Or can you see them? What, Mom? What you mean? Why are they gone? Oh, she hasn't done a video in a while, guys. I just wanna bear with her. Oh, because of the green screen. Yes. Yeah. Maybe now, they're gone. Are your nails shipping? Cause mine are not. Sorry. Mine's off. I can't relate. I think that I don't know what you're doing with your ta with your hands. Very. I'm doing normal stuff. Cause. You know, I take a lot of names and I still don't get. I don't know why mine's crap because I think mine's is just too long. Let me see, mine's long in the back. Mine's long. Let's see how long it is. I'm giving you a run for your money. Yeah, you're a story. I'm just kidding. So, y'all, yeah, when, you, when you ready for these questions? I know y'all ready. Right down. Okay. I'm eat. You finished eating? No, I'm gonna eat a little bit more. I'm gonna eat a little bit more. Drink a little bit. Eat a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, number one, Darius, you ever want to get married? Yes, of course. For a long time? Oh, only for two weeks. <laughs> Mom, yes, of course, a long term. How long do you think that you should be married before you uh, stay? 
I mean, dating before you um be married or propose. And do you want to propose? At these days, y'all Gen Zs be saying, who, uh, nobody, who, anybody can propose at that point. Hmm. First of all, you're asking too many questions at one okay. time. Okay. Okay. How long do I want to wait? I think it just depends. I don't know. What is the average? Okay, if you were dating somebody, would you date somebody for five years? And it's like, okay. I think that's too long, to be honest. Two years? Or a year? No. Well, how you, what do you think they should be? You, you I would know say. I would actually say three, four a year, Mark. Three, four. That long? Yes, I'm not trying to <laughs> date them and marry them and then be divorced a year later. Okay, maybe so. So, so three, four years, okay. I think is good. Okay. You want to have kids? Yes, of course. How many? Um, I just saw about this the other day. I think probably, I think like two. Boy, a girl, girl, boy, two boys. A, a boy and a girl. Close together? Mm hmm. Mm. How many part, years apart? Uh, even though it's difficult, probably around, probably two years. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because. Hurry better. Yeah, I, in the beginning it's difficult because you have a two year old and, a, right. and an infant. Mm hmm. And that's a lot. And you gonna help? Then that's all. Period. Mom, first of all, you ain't got to worry about me. I hope you'll be an excellent father. I think I will be. You think you will be? And then one of the comments is going, "Girl, he Chad." Um, I think I'll be a good father. You do sure? you think I could be? Do you think I'll be a good father, Mom? Be honest. Yeah. You're good at kids. With kids. You let them break stuff, pick up stuff, do whatever they That's want to the do. That's the first thing you said. You let them break stuff. You let them do whatever they you want to do. Remember, you be like, here's my phone. Here, you can play with it. And then they break it. He's like, I actually gave Genesis the first lemon the other day. I know. And that's why she's ready. I know. Yeah. That's what your dad told me. Okay. And that's why we have this conversation. This is exactly why we have this conversation. Because my husband told me, we had a, a child over, one of my, um, my uh, best friend's granddaughter. And she's sitting at the table. Darius giving her my lemons and just here, take this, here, take that. And she's running around the okay. house. And I'm just like, let's, let's get this clear. That's not what happened. No matter. So I go and sit down. This is the real story. I go and sit down, and they're fake lemons, by the way. Just so everyone knows, they're fake lemons and pears. Um, I'm just sitting down or whatever, and she comes and sits next to me, like we're on a school bus. And I said, "Hey." How you doing? <laughs> What's up? Um, did you enjoy Mrs. C's class today? And she said, yes, I did. How about you? And I said, mm, it was okay. I liked yesterday better. And then she said, I am a little hungry, though. And I said, what? Did you not eat at lunch? And she said, yeah, I ate a little bit, but I'm really waiting until I get home. I said, well, don't even worry. It's a long bus ride. I got you. So I turned around and I grabbed one of the fake lemons. I said, here you go. Here I have one of these. And she said, really? For me? And then she says, it's real. I said, no, ma'am. It's fake. And she said, oh, show me more. So then she turned around and actually that's the end of the story. She took them all and she was running around um, with the pears. And We're the talking about a two-year-old, y'all. A two-year-old. And none of the, that first part happened. I actually just sat there and... Let her just do it. Now she turned around and she said, what are these? And I said, those are like fake fruits. And then she had them in her hand. She was trying to give them to me. And I said, yes, of course I'll take them. And then she was trying to, she was really trying to be helpful. You have to see through children, mom. What she really was doing was not just playing. She was showing her kindness and generosity. She had found these lemons and pears right through me. And she was like, what can I do to better society? Yeah, so please. she took the lemons and pears and she started handing them out to people so they could eat. She thought that they were eating as well. This is true. This is what happened. That is what happened. I received a lemon and a pear. 
so he could eat. Cause she was really trying to be a. She was Whatever. Being, she was being, um, uh, you know, a very nice person in society. You know, learning that sharing is caring, and okay. that's how you do that. Okay. And it was all because of me. Is that okay? So that's how you gonna teach your kids? Teach yeah, I, I think you have to learn through exp the best way to teach children is to have them learn things without them knowing that they're actually doing what you want them to do. Okay. Are you going? Mm hmm. Your no kid. Man. Why? No, man. My kids will never see the rod, never feel the rod. <laughs> I am breaking that curse of gener generational um, abuse in the black community. <laughs> it will not be happening in my home. Um, Whatever. As as a psychology major myself, <laughs> there are plenty of other ways to get children to do what you would like them to do rather than hitting them. Um, and I, I can't get you to do what I want you to do. What did you say? I can't get you to do what I want you to do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, you can all the time. I do it all the time. When? All the time. Yesterday you said go scrub the pool. I said, I said, oh, sure, yesterday. I would love to. No, you didn't. I said I would love no, to. No, you didn't. I should do that for you. You did do that. Um, you know, you very much said anything, and I always do it. That's not true. Yeah. Not the way I lip. No. Your lip be like, mom. And then I'll do it. Then you'll do it. That's good, right? I guess. A little bit of mom. Um, mm. You want your chance to do that? I don't care. Oh. It's like, well, if they do it, you don't have to do it. And this, my thing is like, what? You What? They don't have to do everything you say? Uh, it's different, mom. I'm the, uh, everyone calm down. It's, it's, I'm 21. I'm about to be 22 years old. It's not like um, and we are. I think our I think our family dynamic is just different. I didn't really get whoopings. And right. Stuff. So. And look how I turned out. And now no, I should have pulled the rod out more. No. No, 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 no. no. Um, I won't be doing any of the above to my kids, cause I just feel like there's so many different ways to teach children. Um. And yeah, I won't be a, an authoritarian like you were. Yeah, I'm just kidding. So you gonna tell them what? Huh? What are you gonna tell them? What are you gonna tell them? Put that well, back. Give me a scenario. They at the store and they fall out and start screaming and hollering in the middle of the store. Hmm. hmm. And you yell. You tell them, "Get up! Please get up! Get up, Tommy!" Please get up, Tommy. And they're still screaming and saying no. Okay. The top of the lung. Okay. So I was saying, every time I have to tell you to be quiet, mm -hmm. it's another day with no food. So figure it out. And I walk away. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm and you're going to jail. I will be under this cell. You will. Um. I know. You, you know how I am. If the if any if the child is screaming and embarrassing you, we're leaving. We're leaving immediately. We're leaving immediately. So you want them parent? Yes. You gonna stop everything that you're doing? Keep your cart there. Grab. I. Them. So listen. As long as you are really good and nice to your child, you then you can start taking things away. So I'm gonna say I was gonna get you these. You know. Um, these muffins. You know those little bites? Those mm -hmm. muffin bites? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see now we're gonna get broccoli bites. Okay? See how much you like broccoli bites. They don't care about that. Yes, they do. Then and when it's talk so can I get my juice box? I'm gonna say we're actually out. Would you like this um this essential water? No. This no, alkaline water? You know what you need to do? I'm gonna call your grandma. Uh no. <laughs> Period. No. That's all you need to say. I'm gonna call your grandma. Keep acting like that. No, none of the above. I'm not bringing my children over here. I don't know what's gonna happen in these four walls. Yes, yes, you are. And when they come back, they're gonna be like stars. And yes, sir. what? What do you say? They, no, that's not. <laughs> they're gonna true. be so obedient. No. Anyways, now obviously I was joking about all of it. It just said I still won't be hitting my kids though. Okay. But you know, I guess it. I think that really, honestly, what it is is that. Um, you have to learn from your kids. 
So you have to learn what works for them. That's true. You know, the one thing doesn't work for every single child. That's true. Um, and so you actually have to have the children first and then find out, first of all, do I even have a child who's throwing a tantrum in the, the grocery store? Because I didn't even do that. Right. So, like, what? you might be, have one with this going to throw a tantrum in the grocery well, store. Well, yeah. See, and then, then I'll figure out what, what is the best Ooh. approach that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, but it's it's never ch it's child to child. It's never like just a group uh, uh, a blanket all thing on how to raise a child. That's why I said that it's, uh, every child is different, and then their parents treat the children according to what they are like. Mm hmm Like you and their Dalvin's personality is different, but it was just different in every way, you know. So you right. have to raise them accordingly. Right. That's how it is. I don't know how people do it when they got seven, eight kids. I know you can do it. I don't know how to do it either. But I can sure I bet you it's like mm -mm. you have a lot of skill. You got to have a lot of skill. I feel like it's hard to give. I couldn't have that many kids. It's hard to give each one the attention I think that you need as a child mm -hmm. growing up. Cause then when you get into you know you gotta work to feed the, to to feed the kids and then the oldest one is watching the kids and then the oldest one doesn't get a life because you're at work mm -hmm. and now. The oldest one has to become an adult at a mm -hmm. young age and all this other stuff. I don't want to do. have to worry about all that. And then you have to go, um, like if they have a out like after school program, want to do soccer, right. want to be in um, the choir, all that. It's a lot. Yeah, I don't want to do any of that. And that's also why I don't want to have three children because I feel like I always, I always heard that the, um, the youngest child gets neglected. I mean, not the youngest, the middle child gets neglected a lot. You have three? Yeah. Because you like you your your oldest one was your first, mm -hmm. your youngest one needs the most attention at the mm -hmm. time, so you kind of just lose the the middle one in between. Mhm. Mm it's called the middle syndrome. The middle, middle child. Syndrome. The middle child syndrome. I don't know. It? I don't know, but it's something like that. Um. Anyway. But so yeah, so I wouldn't want to do that, and I don't want to put any responsibility on the oldest child. Like you should be a child while you're a child, like. You know, you shouldn't mm -hmm. have to be 16 wanna... having to come home and watch your, your younger siblings. Right. Because and you can't go out with your friends because or your you. parents are at work. Mm hmm You know? Mm hmm That's not your responsibility. You didn't have those kids. Right. So. Or. Obviously, it'd be not every once in a while it's nice to be helpful. But I'm saying, like, you know, I don't want that to be every day on their responsibility. Or, right. It's like, oh, you have to watch these kids Or, now. Or you got to change their diapers. and Yeah. I need you to get in my bath. Not that there's like any, okay, because some people are like, well, I do that with my kids. Well, that's just not how I want to do raise my children. Right. Um. Any other questions you want to throw at me? I don't know. I want to ask. Mm -hmm. When I'm gonna be a, a grandma? Um. There's a lot of things that have to happen first. Okay. Um. Are you you gonna do it after you marry, right? Yes. You better be. Mary first. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to make sure that my, you know, my career is settled um. way before I have grandchildren. I mean, not grandchildren, way before I have children. Mm-hmm. Um, Two years apart. You need to be financially stable. Mm-hmm. And, you know. Mm-hmm. All of that. So... I, I want to make sure that I'm doing it the right way and, you know, <laughs> not the wrong way. Okay. Yeah. So y'all heard him. That's all I really want to ask you. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Great. You got anything to share? No, I don't. I don't. Are you excited um, for the future, Mom? Mm-hmm. Your grandkids? If I'm not, I'm, I'm still young to move. Shoot. It's getting what? harder and harder for me to move. I am not as flexible as I used to be. Oh my, well start, start stretching. I do. You do not stretch mom. I do that. That mm -hmm. is not a stretch. I actually do need to put you through a boot camp. I'm being so serious. Why? Because I want you to be giving the girls everything they ask for when you're 80. Jerry, you want me to wear three inch heels, stilettos. Not three. This is not, you're, you're giving um, 
the Hillary Clinton one on ones. That's not at all what I was asking you to get. <laughs> there is, please. Not some for three inches. What is that? No ma'am. There, that three inches. Th no ma'am. Six inches. Yes. They're yeah. not six inches, no, are they? Who's that? Who's that? What's six inches? I thought it was a three inch stilettos. That was three inches. Who? It's what are you inches. talking about? What stilettos are you talking about? The, the high heel. Who's high heels? Beyonce they don't wear three inches. Oh, the man! <laughs> don't ever do that again. <laughs> Beyonce wear three inches. I, I don't know if she I'm has. mistaken. She has it in one of them videos. I'm sure she has before, but three inches okay. is kind of low. Darius, look up a three inch heel. Let me see a three inch heel. This sounds crazy. Three inches is, you know, three inch stilettos. Okay. Three inch. Heel. Heels. Oh wait, is it actually three inches? Oh, six is way too high. Wait, no, but three is too short. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. Look at this three. Wait. Okay, let's look at the five inch the heel height guy. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking four or five inches. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. But you know, it's like obviously this is five and then six and then one. What is that? No. Two, three, four, so down the down the line. And then this one is. That one is. Five and six. Okay. So six is way too high, I feel like. And that's what Beyonce be wearing sometimes. Beyonce probably wears four and up. Sorry. She definitely wears four and up. Four, three, two. Don't say I see her in three. I you see have her in never three. seen her in yes, three. Yes, I have either. seen her in three. You have never seen that woman in three. I have, if I show you a picture of her in three dancing. Yeah, back in 2006. Well, three inch. I think that three inches is very much so uh, uh, a fashion police issue. There is nothing wrong with three inches. And would you um like man she killing it in that outfit with three inches? Would you uh, would you really look? I at think it like, like I think for a boot, you know, with a heel, then three inches is fine. If you're giving me a stiletto, it very much so looks like you're sitting next to Big Bertha at church, uh, with the big hat, you know, giving the veil and all. And <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I just feel like at that point you're not performing anymore. What are you doing? You know, so. Uh, I think right now you wear what three inches now. Your most of your heels are three, two. Darius, no. Okay, I'm just. I do saying. not wear. Well, no, I still got some stilettos. I got so some five what's inch. the difference between a stiletto and a heel? Are they the same thing? Stilettos are really long heels. That's what it is. You know, um, it used to be. I told you this before. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. What you say? It used to be men who used to wear heels first. He showed me a picture of a man that wore heels. <clears throat> I was like, what? And he had a heel on, and that was the first time they made a heel it was for a man. And that man was in giving giving Renaissance all get out. Yeah, he was Renaissance. It was And it was a thick heel. Yeah, it was like a boot heel, like a thick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it was actually made to, to, so you could have the appearance of looking taller. That's why they did it. Because they wanted to be strong and tall. And so if you, you know, had a disadvantage in height, you would just wear heels. Which is why we sh how we should look at things today. You know what? So anybody can wear a heel. What do you mean? Right now? Yes. That's not acceptable for anybody to wear a heel. I think that it should be like that. But the world doesn't agree. But back in that time, it was mostly men wearing heels because it was like, you wanted to be like tall. I know, but it's, heels should be on women. Like... Why? That's tall because it just just it just looks good. Obviously, it was a different type of heel. They weren't wearing stilettos. I, and I don't think a man can really wear stilettos like that. Y'all probably y'all wouldn't even know how to act. You wouldn't even know how to what walk mean, in a stiletto. Well, I'm saying walk is so hard. It's not easy. 
Um. And and men um feet are way wider. My feet like, are wider. Dead feet true. are. Some, but what I'm some saying, feet are wider. what I'm saying is, is a lot of men of feet are, are wider because they're men, and and to try to get them in a nine size 10, 12 stiletto shoe, it don't even look right. Um. Well, you would have to. I mean, this. it would be. You know what I'm saying? It would be too much. Okay. Okay, great. Um. I disagree. We're doing a video. On what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> because I'm about to show you that it's not that hard to walk in heels. There you wore heels before? Never. Really? Never. Never? Never. You don't like them? Not my cup of tea. Have you ever put them on? Never. <laughs> that was I'm just kidding. He's uh, lying. <laughs> What was I gonna say? Um, back when we knew you and me was the same size. You used to wear my heels? No, I didn't wear it. I was like, let me call that. Call Everybody calm down. I think everyone's looking a lot depressed. <laughs> no, 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 no. I had probably, I had probably done it one, twice, once or twice when I was like 11 or 12. You wore my heels? Did well, you wear them outside? No, oh. no. <laughs> picture me, picture me going to school in heels. I wouldn't have come back because they would actually have um, eaten me alive. They would have. Yeah. And I would get a call from your teacher. Yeah, that would actually be like, no, I didn't wear heels out. It was like, you know, I probably had tried it on or something. I was like, oh, like. Did you like them? Um, no. I don't know what heels you had, but it was. Oh like, no, I had some heels. Man. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know which way his hat, but I don't know what his Dutch hat, but they weren't, you know. They was giving. It was giving. They was giving. It was giving Austin Powers. No, they. And, you are so gonna lie! Boy, I had some good heels. Don't you play with me. I don't even know what heels I have. There it is, I swear. But I. Mm. I had some cute heels. Then why would you try them on then? I was like, oh, this is a different shoe. I've never seen that before. <laughs> there is and me. I still want to try these on. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. Anyways, y'all, that's all I have to ask him. I was just wanted to ask some questions and stuff. It wasn't a big deal. As I said, this boy, he good with kids, though. I see him with kids, and I be like, oh, he's going to be a good father. But I said, they'll run all over him. No, they won't. Yes, they will. <laughs> Definitely. Until oh, you learn. And you was talking some, you was being mean to Genesis. Ha! Hit back, get, get over here. <laughs> and she was like, she was like, I guess this is a change. No, she no. said, this is a change in scenery. Because I was being so nice. I said, here's a lemon. <laughs> here's a pen. No, and that's what I said. No, I told her. I said, Genesis, no. I said, because she was running. I said, Genesis, Genesis, walk. Because you have to tell her that. Because Genesis, Let her have well, we call fun. her Jen. Well, she's, she is, when she's at her school, if she acts up, and they say everybody in the classroom acts up. They follow her. This black woman in power. Don't, don't. <laughs> see, listen, you have to see through the kids. There it is. may seem like it's acting up, or maybe she's giving an iconic leader. You know what? what? We, what already, we already said that she's a leader. Of course she's a leader, but we want her to be a leader in a good way of saying, let me show you how to sit and be and, and listen to the teacher, not be up and running and, and then everybody else running and doing great. I see the bright side. I was in daycare. I was a teacher, so I know how to talk to kids and get on their level and just say, listen, you have to, you can't be. You want because they ain't gonna respect you. Got they respect authority, but okay. not to the okay, point listen. where you're being mean and stern. You gotta show them love as well. It has to be a balance. You gonna say, Hold my finger. I said, What you about to do a trick? <laughs> I said, Show some pull. My, I saw her. I said, Pull my I finger. Said, hey, I, I said, said, You about to fart? I said, Hold my finger because listen, we were going outside by the pool. I don't want her. You know when you got kids by the pool, you don't want them to be um running around because you don't know what they were doing and being loose and everything. Mm -hmm. So I had to get that control of her right, right then and there and tell her, mm -hmm. look, you need to listen because we about to go outside, me and your mom, and she's going with us. And I didn't want her to get out there because she saw that water. She would have been going crazy. And I'd be like, nope, just hold my hand. We walking around. And I let her sit there and watch, look at the water and not play around the water. Um, If I had a pool... I think I would. I don't know if I could do it with young kids. I know. 
That's one thing mm-hmm. that that's the only reason why I did not want to pull because I'm like young kids. Because they will be in that water. Because it only takes a second for you to look away, look right. away, and they will jump in that water before you be like it, it happens so fast. So I was like, I told my girlfriend, I said, "Girl," but she's not coming. On the um, oh yeah, I know to the party. So that's good because I was like, I could not. I would have to have a strap down. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut down. Derry, <laughs> don't look at me like that. <laughs> might be a, I don't know, but uh, this is what I mean by difference in parenting. Darius, I'm talking about like in a stroller, like uh, if she's not, if she's not in the, you know, her parents not with with her, I would tell you her know. sit down in a stroller with a strap with a um seatbelt. What if she rode to the pool in a stroller? No, I know. I will have to be there every second. Anyways. I couldn't do it. Um, Anyways, y'all, I thought that would be nice to talk to y'all about that because I just want to see where Darius' head was at and I'll mm-hmm. see where his head is at. I don't know, y'all, because these grandbabies going to have to come over here with me for at least a month to get no. them right. To no. get them right and straight and right and tight. No. You will have no more problems out of there. I'm taking them to the um, police office immediately after I'm going to say I just say, don't. Hey. Hey. Ow. Oh, what? What? No. no. <laughs> Don't do that. Put your plug into him. Move again. This is why I'm being <laughs> over here. But I bet you they'd be very respectful. Don't abuse your kids if you're um, in the African American community. And also in general, but I'm talking to specifically the African American community. Do you agree with that, Mom? No comment. And yes, and yes, hitting your kids is abuse. Sorry, you can fight me on it. Well, I remember when they they start they passed that law where the kids can call the police. Kids can call the police if the kids if the parents get, hit the child. What does that supposed to mean? I'm agreeing. It's Why? A, it's a step of agreement. Some of these kids these days need it. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. And some of the parents are crazy. No, not. Yes. Okay. Okay. Some of them. I'm not saying all of them. Okay. But I'm saying some of them are. Um, I think if you hit your child, it's abuse, and uh, even if they spank him a little bit on the bottom, I feel like spanking turns into more. Sorry. How? Because when they get older, what you gonna do? Still spank them? Well, no, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But once you get them younger and you spank them when they're young, then when they get older, they'll know, oh, I'm not going to go there. Hmm. They're going to be like, I can take a little spank. No. They're going to yeah. be like, uh-uh. They're going to be like, I ain't going to go there. I think that ever since I found out that it definitely stems in our community from slavery, I have no intention to use that, that form of punishment on my children. Never. Never. It's stopping at my bloodline. I'm telling you that right now. So, no, hit your kids. <laughs> hit your kids. <laughs> hit your kids. Okay, Darius. Yeah, because it's the only form of discipline you ever knew. And that is actually very sad. There are many other ways. There's positive reinforcement. There's a lot of things that you can do. Oh, you uh, you're going to have a rude awakening. I mean, I guess it can work on some kids. Yeah. Positive reinforcement. You didn't have to do that to me. I was very, you know, very, you know, for the girls and, you know, for the girlies. So. I don't think so. Yes, I was. You were sassy a little bit. Okay. What's wrong with a little bit of sass? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a little bit of sass. Um, Whatever. Dalvin, Dalvin. Whoo, he was something else. That boy. Um, if I, I think if I had Dalvin, it'd be very much so penitentiary. But if you had a Dalvin, like your yes. child would look like a Dalvin. Penitentiary. <laughs> Immediately. Uh, you locking them up. Yeah, jail time. Because <laughs> I just don't know. I think it'd be too much. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So what do you do if you had a child? Well, it just that depend, was... That's what I'm saying. It depends on the child. It depends on the child. But what if you had a child, not even saying they were like Dalvin, but a, a, a child that was really like. Even 20 times on another level than Dalvin. You know, up there. 
Like I said, penitentiary. Penitentiary. Uh, jail time. For who? You or the other child? Um, I don't know. Do you pick a day? <laughs> because <laughs> no, I can't do it. Um, I don't know. It just depends on the situation, and I, I just don't do. I, I just couldn't do it. I would just hope and pray that my children are good children. And if they're not, Darius, I'm gonna say. Well, you're spending the weekend at Grandma's. No, you're yeah. not. You're spending the weekend, <laughs> yeah, spending the weekend at Grandma's. Yeah, okay, yeah, right. Yeah. And they go, you gonna come back and you'll be like, what did you do to my kids? I ain't gonna do I'm that. I'm like, don't worry about it. No. You shouldn't have brought them over here. I'm gonna say, sis, we're gonna spend the weekend at I, I'll get them right. No. I will get them right. Right and tight. This is just too early to figure out how my kids, I think my kids are gonna be iconic. It's all right. That's what every parent says. And you had an iconic <laughs> one. Where? You're looking at him. Darius, please. Anyways. Whatever. <laughs> Woo wee. And I'm telling you, that entitlement, these kids' generation gets. Ooh. I know. Them, them younger kids, they'll be always just entitled. And... Wait till you start having kids. The generation. I every, don't know. Every generation tells their kids, you wait till you have kids. And they always say, I'm, when so I have kids, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that, I'm going to be were this. Were you having these talks with your mom? Yes. Mom said, when you have kids, you watch and see. You're going to be calling them the same name, and that's true. Oh, I won't be doing that. Yeah. That's what I said. You said that, then you say, um, you going to spank your kids? And I said, no, I would never, never spank my kids. My kids are going to understand. You did not say that. Oh, yes, I did. No, you yes, did not I know. <laughs> I know young B. <laughs> <laughs> no young Pete did not say any of that. So Yes I did. I am not gonna take my kids. Period. No. <laughs> Back in, you know, ninety four, you were not self so I'm not gonna take my children. Yes, I did. Uh, and look no. at y'all. I wonder how Gen Z's gonna handle their kids. I think that we might we I think might no, be. I think they y'all y'all tell them to do whatever they wanna do. Do whatever you wanna do, be you. Yes, be you. Do and, you. Do you, yes. Bring the frogs and the rats. What? And the camels and the frogs. and the. Mom, they're not wild animals. What do you mean bring no, them? No, bring them in the house. They're not cats. No, no. Bring the cats. If you want a cat here, we'll help them. If you want the dogs here, help them. If you want the, the mammals and the camels and the... the, the any, any, anywhere you Mom, want. Mom, when have I ever tried to bring a wild animal? There is... What I'm just trying to say, in reference of, you will let them do whatever they want to do. It don't matter. Would you uh, have to bring a snake in the house if they want a snake? Is it just a wild snake? A wild thought? snake, but they really want it, Darius. I'm going to say, put that snake back on oh, certain room. No. What, 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 what's your lip? What's your lip doing? I'll pitch a plug in you. <laughs> not the person that said they ain't going to never uh, say anything. No, I'm not going to do that. And be nice. But I'm going to... I, I would have said get that snake out of here. But what they said, I want it, Dad. I want it, and I want it now. You said I can have it. I, if I, I said, okay, okay, go find out where the snake lives and live with the snake. Yeah. So we like that. Yes, that's perfectly fine. I didn't hit my kid. Go live with them. Okay, so what they have bought a dog. And, and you can eat the, the snake food. And you can slither like a snake. But become a snake, be one. Be a snake if you want to. But I'm a human in this house. <laughs> Whatever. See, I told I, you know what? I think you're gonna be mean. I am not gonna be mean. You just said you see how you just told me? Let me my heart skipped a beat. Uh, let me let me rephrase. <laughs> Go be a snake. If you want no, to. No, 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 no. You're not gonna be like that. I am. You're gonna be more aggressive. I'm gonna say go be a snake. Um, you know, slither with the snakes. You know, lay eggs, shed some skin. You know, be free. <laughs> go out there, be free. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, I'm telling you, your kids gonna be wants a lot of stuff. And if they want a dog, you gonna help them have a dog? Cause I ain't let them have a dog. Let me tell you something. The reason why I didn't let my children have a dog when they was um um younger. Cause I knew they were gonna walk that dog, and I knew that we. I was so much, so busy. That I knew he was gonna walk the dog. Y'all weren't clean about that dog or nothing. We, we can have a dog, but they have to be a certain age, I think. What's a certain age? I think I'm. I'm what the giving, kid, oh, the kids have to be yes, certain age. Yes, I think the 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 kids have to be giving you know seven and older. Cause I've heard about these dogs they be eating the kids. You know, oh the dogs, yeah, yeah. Say, hmm, 
hi. And all of a sudden your baby's screeching. Yeah, but that's cool. But you gotta get you gotta get a, a dog when the when they're babies. Yeah, I'll get the dog when it's a baby, but yeah. the, I want the, the kid to be, you know, pretty to grow like, up with yeah, the baby. Like with seven years yeah. old or so. And then we get a dog. But who's gonna do all the walking? Um you know, we take turns. Everybody. Who gonna take, okay, everybody in the family take turns. Uh -huh. You walk, you, but the seven year old can't walk by the dog by itself. No, 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 no. Obviously, it'd be my responsibility to take care of the dog. The kids gonna do it. Mom, they can't do that. Not until seven years old. But how you gonna do it if you at work all the time? Oh, I won't have a nine to five. What you? What, why you gonna earn your money? Oh, self employed. Doing what? Oh, I don't know. You know what? <laughs> You haven't had a nine to five in multiple years. This is a nine to five. This is nine to five. Nine to five. Yes, it is. You could have. You could have had a dog. I don't want and a dog. And one of my biggest regrets. And let me see. Being a child is you wouldn't let me watch Wizards of Waverly Place. Just be quiet. Like Whatever. Anyway, it's a lot of stuff I didn't let you didn't have a dog. Yes, That's and you know why? Regret. But my thing is, you, Dalvin had a dog. Dalvin had a dog for three days. Dalvin had a dog for about a month. Mom, it was less than that. They gave that dog right back. Because that dog was a lot of a big responsibility. It's, it's definitely a heart when you aren't. I mean, there's no happy medium. Because uh, with a job like ours, we were traveling so much. Just to, We just travel all the time. And so that's when it gets hard because you, you don't want to have to bring your dog everywhere you're That's the thing, you. yeah. When you're traveling or if you're working all the time. A cat. And you're not there. And you, you cats can't, can stay home for a little while. Cats, yeah, know. cats is um is more manageable, but then all the fur they shed. The dog shed too though. That's get a, all over get a the hairless clothes. Cat. Don't you think those are cute? No, they're kind of cute. In Them an hairless cats look look scary. They're cute in an ugly way. I've never heard of cute in an ugly way before. They're ugly in a cute way. <laughs> there it is. I think that works. Can you can you can you can you say I want an albino. Can you say it to a person? You're ugly in a cute way. No. You're mama, cute in an ugly way. Because cats don't have feelings, but humans do. Cats do have feelings, Darius. They can't understand English. They might have feelings. But they understand love. But unless you know how to, you know, speak meow mix, you ain't gonna get to them. A meow mix. Anyways, um, I well, I wish we had a dog. And now I feel like I don't understand the stage in life that I can have a dog now. It's just that was the perfect time when you're young, and you you have a family. You add it, you add a dog like it's a child, and that's the perfect time. And I begged you guys for years to get a dog or some kind of pet, pet, and all you guys gave me was a hamster. That's right. And the hamster died. And that hamster died. died with rigor mortis in the skin. And we had multiple fish, and they also died. They also died. I, I'm not good with animals. I wanted a dog to cuddle or a cat. There is. I don't like. I don't like. I, 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 mm. But my thing is, y'all want a dog so bad. Dad was sitting up here and don't even want. Can't even. Do, I can't do dogs. He what? don't want to do animals because he don't. He don't want to take. He can't take care of them. I can take care. And of And they them. all on your furniture. That's how we get a cat. But they also scratch things too. Yes, they. Do. It would depend. They, you don't get your shoes eaten up from your dog? Oh, no, ma'am. The first <laughs> sign of that, I'm No, you got to, you got to, I think you got to, you got to train them. You got to, if you yeah. have the right dog, you have to put a lot of training. Yeah. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of time. And if you have a lot of time and patience to do that, they can be a, they can be a wonderful add, addition to the family. Yeah. But then I just don't want to deal with the, the, uh. But me, I, I, I travel in and put them in a, what's it, is it? Kennel, right? What? Kennel, kettle, kettle, kettle. What's that? What's it called? Kettle. Kettle. Okay, yeah. Uh, I said that right. The, uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you, you sure? Mhm. Mm okay. So put them away in there while you travel. What? While you travel? On the plane, I hope. No. At home. Sometimes at home too. They need that 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 tender love and care. Mom, you While you travel, leave no dog in there for no days. Not not for days, but like for maybe you want a break. You can't listen. I'm taking it right away to get a dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, boy, I'm talking about when you travel, boy. When I travel out of town, and you leave the dog at home in the kettle. 
Not the kettle. Uh, That's why I asked you what the thing was when they go to the daycare. Mom, you know they ain't calling no kettle. Mom, <laughs> the doggy daycare is all you had to say. Wait, it's the doggy daycare? Yes. Your daddy said kettle. No, he did not. Yes, he said. He Mom, said. I thought you was talking about like the ca kettle's a cage or whatever. I'm not going to keep my dog in no cage. That's why I was like, danger for days. Is it, I said, is it a kettle? Yes, because I thought you were talking about no, the cage. No, not the cage. I'm not going to put my dog in a cage and leave him there. In the cage while I'm gone. That, that's what I'm saying. They'll starve. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was no, telling the man. What I was saying is I'll put them in the doggy daycare. But what is it called? Mom, I don't it's know. It's called a kennel. A kennel. There's a son with a K? Yes. I just don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know what. That's why I kept on asking you, kettle. Are you sure? Dog. Doggy daycare. They do say doggy daycare, but what is his name for? Mom, it's called a doggy daycare. Oh. I literally have never heard anything. Someone's going to say it in the comments. Oh. It's called a... Kennels. Kennel? Yes, yeah, a kennel? What is kennels? What is a kennel? A small shelter for that's it's called that's the cage, mom. It's a kennel. Well, I don't know. It's a doggy daycare. Let's take the dog to doggy daycare, not a kennel. I know keep like so yeah, I just put the dog in the kennel and I just came over here for a couple days. And it'll be like yeah, they go like, you are going to jail. They'll say, where's that dog at? <laughs> the dog was not going to be survived. But anyway, that's, and that's another thing. That stuff is expensive. Going to doggy daycare? Yeah, but that's it's a whole more expensive than a child. It's like having a third child. That's why you should do I know child. that. It's like having a third child. And you well, know, they, have to, mini they have to get shots and everything else. Yeah, do and that for your dog. If you could do it for a child. I cannot wait till you get your... When you start, when you get your apartment a year or two from now. Oh, no. I don't want to do it then. Because it's just too much at that point. I want to do it when I already have the responsibility of kids. And then like seven or eight. I think that you should do it now. I mean, do it while before you get the kids. That would no, no, make no, because, sense. Because Cause when you get kids, you, you don't even understand baby. how busy you finna be. Because the dogs live too long. So if I get it as a puppy now, and they live for however long they live for, you know, who knows? In seven years, I might already have kids. You know what I'm saying? There's that dog. Years. Yeah, you'll be like 28. Ain't you? Right. You don't, you don't have nah, that much time. No kids. He's 27. Yeah, they did think about kids. Well, they better start. Now about two years for four. They want to have two or four. Or maybe one or four. That one won't have four. Four is a lot. I know. But after you have that one, they ain't going to have four. I know that's right. Cause they had that one, they're gonna be like, uh, wait. Now wait. Now they they have one and the child is super good, then they probably think about like, okay, maybe we can do this again. But then that second one, probably ain't gonna be as good as that first one. And you're gonna be like, what? What? Why is this so different? That's what's gonna I'm happen. I'm gonna be calling you to figure out how to do things. I'm gonna say, Mom, how do I change your diaper? Help me. So Anyways, <laughs> no, okay. you're not. You're gonna call me. Peace out, guys. See you guys next time. We'll see y'all. Oh, we oh, we might as well let it close out. Share and subscribe.